Well, that's uh, that's pretty interesting that the municipalities uh, are going to be <clears throat> favoring people buying, uh, you know, the tax liens based on what they're going to be doing with the properties. Uh, so that's going to put the, you know, the, the, the one-off tax lien purchasers that are just hoping somebody will pay it, uh, you know, and get their money back or, you know, to foreclose. That, that's pretty interesting that um, they, so you, are they giving you a little bit of favorability uh, in those municipalities to do because that's what you're doing? Yeah. So there's two types of tax sales. There's the general tax sales, like the one you just mentioned, the, the one off investor will go by and hope the homeowner would pay so they can make their 16% or whatever it is. Um, and the other one is a special lien auction. These are vacant and dilapidated properties that have taxes that are, you know, 20,000 and higher. The bank is not going to pay the taxes because the property is in shambles. Um, there are extensive renovations, 80,000 or more renovations. So those properties usually go to sell and those are the special lien auctions that you can assign or, or do it. And this, we have the fast track law in Jersey. So the property is vacant. We can fast track the foreclosure. It won't take two years. It'll take six to 10 months to get the, uh, the judgment. And we will be able to start doing the renovations from that point on. Um, you know, there's some risk involved with it as well because you don't own the property. And if the property catches on fire, you just get the lot that you can't put insurance on it. But um, the upside is really great. Um, and that's why I said it reminded me of the note business because you can buy a pool of them and, um, you know, get some very healthy returns from doing that. Nice. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I thought you had no, no, another that's, question. I didn't know that was really interesting. Um, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, vacant property list. You want to source the vacant property list in your township. And, and then the, the next level is, okay, what are the taxes? Are there any taxes that are owed on these properties? Um, are, they, are they delinquent? And basically, once you take those down, it's less likely someone is going to redeem them and go from there. Yeah, vacant property, you wouldn't imagine someone's going to redeem that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was going to be a real smart ass about this and say being in New Jersey, it's probably easy to get tax liens because because they're the highest tax state in the country. This is true. This is true. <laughs> oh, hey. Makes those a lot more available. <laughs> um, now that that's great because uh, not only are you getting off mar market properties, uh, you're able to put people to work in those communities. You're able to revitalize those communities, put those houses back on the tax rolls, and then uh, homes that have been, you know, blights or eyesores are now uh, part of the neighborhood and uh, homes for people to live in now. So, yeah, um, that's our mission really is to revitalize the community, create an impact, give local people jobs to help with some of the demolition and clean out and stuff like that. So it just feels good when you walk to the townships and, and the mayors see what you're doing and, and the different departments, the tax office, the building department, everybody is behind you in that. So you know, that's what we try to target. And we just actually now we're divesting a lot of the smaller rentals that we have here in New Jersey and creating this impact project in other states with the smaller uh, multifamily units, 95 units and stuff like that in the same areas of like Alabama, Tennessee stuff, those type of states that we can create that same impact. Well, listen, you've carved out uh, quite a nice niche for yourself because I know investors all over the country that are going to stay away from New York and New Jersey and California because the, you know, the foreclosure and the uh, tenant laws are not in the favor of the, you know, the bank or the landlord. And uh, you've, you've definitely carved yourself out a nice niche. 